You can watch the Giro d'Italia come to its conclusion on GCN Plus, stages live and on demand. Primoz Roglic was the closest challenger in the general classification to Geraint Thomas as the riders line up for the final road mountain stage before a mountain TT to come on stage 20. A last opportunity for people to get out in breakaways and affect the race. Thomas looking to hold on to the Maglia Rosa, his seventh day in the race lead in total. After a tour to Thomas, would it be a Giro di G? A mighty stage on the cards. Almost 200 kilometers, a five-star stage, and into the Dolomites. Big climbs, big name climbs as well. Passo Giao along the way, and culminating in the Trecime di Lavaredo, climb for the last time a decade previous, when Vincenzo Nibali had won in the pink jersey in the snow. The Cimacopi, the highest point of the Giro awaited. Just under 40 seconds between the top three as they went up to 2,300 metres. Stage 19 of this 106th Giro d'Italia with 5,500 climbing metres and 183 kilometres to ride. It was a lightning fast start, the first hour ridden at around 50 kilometres per hour, a breakaway taking quite a while to get away. Santiago Buitrago, one of those riders to come across to the break. Carlos Verona would be brought by a teammate as well. Thibaut Pino and Ben Healy mocked each other out. Almost looked comical at times between the two. They were going both for the King of the Mountains jersey. There was an incident involving Carlos Verona. He was reportedly hit by one of the other team cars. Agé de Zercitrain losing a team car in the race as a consequence. Derek G was in the breakaway for the umpteenth time, and yet again he'd be going for big mountains points. Mathematically difficult to win the Magliazzurra, but he'd be giving a go anyway. What he wanted was a stage win. Primoz Roglic had the idea of changing the GC. A change of bike and almost mountain bike gears. One ring on the front and as many as 44 teeth on his biggest ring at the back. There was a brief thunderstorm. The riders emerging out of it to climb a hellish mountain to the top. In the GC group, Laura Plus was having a fantastic day. Geraint Thomas sat on his wheel. Tim and Ardensman would be the next to help out as Derek G attacked and went to grab his stage win. Three second places and a couple of fourths to this point. Trecime di Lavaredo was in the way, as was Santiago Buitrago. The Colombian catching the Canadian with one and a half kilometers to go and going straight past him. In his natural terrain as a high altitude native and Primoz Roglic on his own terrain as well in front of the Slovenian fans and attacking Geraint Thomas inside the final kilometer. A small gap was quickly closed by the race leader. Joao Almeida came back, but there'd be more to be said before the finish line. Gradients of almost 20% in places. Not too much to deter Santiago Buitrago from riding away to a second stage win in as many Giro editions, this time on a legendary mountain. Thomas then tried his own look, this inside the final few hundred metres. A chance maybe for still bonus seconds remaining on the line. Only Malnus Court was left in front from the breakaway. Court stayed about just in front. And Primoz Roglic was able to get on his wheel and put just three seconds into Garrett Thomas, meaning that on the final time trial, 26 seconds separate the Welshman in pink and the man from Slovenia, a three-time welter winner in second. Almeida losing time to be almost a minute behind Thomas. The man who won the Tour five years previous, looking good to win the Giro, but as Buitrago wins in the high mountains, it's on the final slopes where Derek G will be a spectator and the GC riders will be out to battle it for the pink jersey. Buitrago, G, Court, and then the GC riders, Roglic, Thomas, Almeida, with Caruso moving up in a fourth, and Arensman now up into the top 10. Geraint Thomas, another day closer to Rome. 26 seconds his lead, but Primoz Roglic of all people knows that things can change in a final mountaintop time trial. Planche de Belfi, 2020 anyone? Let's see, this looks even harder. Hellish gradients that are said to be harder than Monte Zoncolan. It's Tarvisio up to Monte Lussari, a brand new mountaintop finish in professional cycling. 
from an old one in Trecime di Lavaredo to a brand new one who will be shining the brightest. Tune in to GCM Plus to find out.